Hey, we're Victor and the Blood. You're watching Mula Chuck. It's the only TV show you need. Rock and roll. Rock. Victor. <laughs> You're the youngest of three. Was it hard for you to prevail? No. Did they make fun of you all childhood long? No. No, I think uh, being young is a good thing. Michael Jackson was also the youngest, you know. Was it good for him? I don't know. Ah, maybe. I, maybe in the 80s it was good for him. <laughs> No, but not, not in the beginning when his dad hit him, and not in the end where, where he died, but I think he had fun in the middle. D you mean your road was paved? No, not at all. <laughs> Michael Jackson's road was not paved. Mm. Uh, no, but it, I, actually I'm not the youngest though, because I have a sister. She's younger. Oh, I didn't know. Okay, so I'm the youngest boy. She will be the new Miley Cyrus or something. I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> um... Well, a little bit. Tell us, uh, both of you, um, I mean, being brothers, everybody's making music. Um, is there a jealousy point? <laughs> well, we're not actually brothers. <laughs> I mean, but uh, no, not jealousy, the other way around. Yeah. For sure. I mean, there's, uh, you, can't, you can't live your life being jealous of your own family members. Mm -hmm. Because then you kind of misunderstood the point of life, I think. Mm. Uh, if you're walking around being jealous of your family members, I think you need a hard look in the mirror. Because, you know, that's your family. Come on. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So, absolutely no. Um, one other thing. Um, uh, you starred in a movie. Uh, it was called Eight Miles High in English. Um, it was Das Wilde Leben, yeah. Uschi Obermeier. Yeah. But, uh, it wasn't uh, just about her, she wrote the whole movie, or co-wrote it. Yeah, yeah. Have you met her? I did, uh, many years ago, at the premiere of the movie. Oh, she, so you, you didn't have a chat be before or during shooting the movie? No, no, I mean, my role was not that big. Well, you did play Mick Jagger, though. I did. He's big, but the role was not that big. <laughs> it was cool. I think she's a really cool lady. She's still good-looking, though. And she's like, how old is she now? Uh, 120. <laughs> yeah. She's rocking. Yeah. <laughs> Your producer, Jacob Hellner, uh, he's the producer of Rammstein. I, I mean, for you guys, how was it deciding that? Or was he like, oh, this is our first choice. We have to... You know, that's our typical producer. No, come on. I mean, you did stuff before that was completely yeah. opposite. Yeah. But we came to a point where we tried to make our music as hard as possible. But that is not even close to what Jay Capelner can do. So we needed a real, I mean, one on the extreme side of what we think of hard. Mm. So it was kind of an easy choice. But luckily, we could get him to produce our album. And it, uh, How was that? It was enough really, money? Yeah, yeah, enough money. <laughs> no, actually, the other way around, because he doesn't need any money. Yeah. Right, so he only produces things he likes, which was great. So we just called him and said, hey, we really like you. Do you want to listen to our songs? And he said, yeah, sure. And then he just said, I like it. I want to do it. Good. So that's the good thing about working with someone who doesn't really need money, because they only do things that they want to do. Yeah. They have that freedom which is nice. So he was our first choice, actually. Excellent. Um, I'm sure you, you have already written a second and a third record. <laughs> Will he second. produce those two as well? Yeah, we hope so. Yeah, hopefully. I mean, in a, in a dream world, he will, but uh, we just have to ask him again. Hopefully he will like the new songs as well. Yeah. But, like I said before, he also has the freedom to say, no, I don't want to do it. <laughs> so, did he see you guys play live? Yeah, he did, twice. There you go. He really liked it. So, mm. fingers crossed. <laughs> um, let's talk a bit about uh, Christian Gidlund. Yeah. Because, um, I mean, <laughs> that's pretty young. Yeah, you know, he, he died yeah. in September 2013. Um, for you guys, I mean, you were starting out, you were recording a new record, the tour was planned, and then you have like a brother dying kind yeah. of. Yeah, it's crazy. 
the 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 the, thick, uh, the very sick thing that we knew also, mm. because he got sick in 2011 mm. the first time, and then he kind of was up and down, and then he knew you know the doctors told him he's not going to make it, so there was like a year where we knew that oh he's you know he's gonna he's not going to make it, we don't know when so. It's such a crazy time to, you know, be around a, a young man, you know, very young. He was only 29. Yeah. And he looks healthy. But you know that, you know, any day now he, he can go. So, but, you know, in a way, in the tragedy of it, I think it's still nice that we got the chance, you know, to talk about everything and, you know, yeah. tell each other how much we loved each other and share memories and... So on, you know, it, like if you compare it with someone who dies in a car crash, like which is, if you're young, that's more common, you know, you're like they, they're taken away from you and yeah. you feel such an emptiness. In this, there was, it, you, you could still, you know, say what you wanted to say, which was at least something good. Did it influence the writing on songs in any way? I mean, I mean Absolutely, it influenced everything, yeah. of course. I mean, when something that big happens to you it will influence everything you do whether you want it or not so it's not like the lyrics are about him like a letter to him but it's definitely influenced yeah um all right but um completely different thing uh much more nicer um how was it growing up in borlinge <laughs> Not that much. It's, it's like the center of nowhere, right? <laughs> yeah. Um, well, but, but at least you had that that love and peace Woodstock kind of festival. Yeah, yeah but that yeah. was that was that started when we were maybe sixteen. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, you think about it now. I guess you're kind of happy that we actually grew up in Worlding because that's why we're here with you and. This guy. Yeah. Uh, we, we love that. This is Samuel, the drummer. Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't talk much. No, but no. He's, cool. he's a nice yeah. guy. He's not that good looking, so he has a mask. But it's okay. um, no, but, but no, it's it, like Jonas said, it's, it's good because that made us want to, you know, to play music and do music and go you know, go and see the world. I can't imagine that if you like if you're born in Stockholm or maybe even Vienna, like a cool city. It's like, yeah, my life is good. There's too I much like it to here. Do. Yeah. I can have a beer in a cool bar. You know, we couldn't do that. Right. The only way for us to have a beer in a cool bar was to start a band so we could go to that town and play and have a beer. <laughs> so, you know, but it's you know, the nature there is beautiful. So yeah. that's something. But do you still have relatives there? Yes. Oh yeah, our parents oh. yeah, live there still. So we, we come back sometimes, yeah. And if you get married, you build a house there or something. Probably, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, this is not a project. Uh, it's, a, it's a rock band. Uh, you got a plan for a couple years, right? Oh, yeah. So, <clears throat> I mean, it, it, now you're on a European tour. I'm sure you're going to Japan. Uh, are any plans made already? Yeah, I mean, we, we want to go everywhere. I yeah. mean, Japan yeah. is a great country for rock music. Mm -hmm. America is a great country for rock music. That's the good thing about playing rock. Everybody loves it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so our plan is just to keep on making records. You know, we want to make at least one record a year. That's the plan. So never stop. You know, I think sometimes these days musicians and bands are a bit lazy. <laughs> Take a five-year break to go on a five-year holiday. You don't need that. Yeah. So, That's not rock and roll. No, no. We're going to work hard and play hard. Yeah. <laughs> Hej, Moelashai! <laughs> Ni kollar på Moelashai, det är vi som är Victor and the Blood, det enda tv-showen ni behöver. Rocka rör! Rocka! Moelashai!